Hello there, my name is Anne-Marie. I'm a clinical hypnotherapist, positivity clinical hypnotherapist, and I'm a confidence life coach. And I work with people to overcome their adversity, to move them into the life that they love, that they love to live, basically to get them into their flow. So I do that in a number of ways, either hypnotherapy or I run life conscious living programs. Today I'm with Karen, who's just finished a three session course of hypnotherapy. So he has kindly agreed to talk to you about his experience so that it can empower you to make a decision for change to live the life that you want to live too. So, Karen, introduce yourself. Tell us a little bit about you. Okay. Hi, everybody. I'm Karen. I'm 22. I work in IT in Milton Keynes, but my home home, my proper home, is in Brentwood in Essex. Mm. Very nice. Um, so you came to me, you've had three sessions. What were you expecting when you came for your first visit? I wasn't sure what I was expecting, to be honest. I hadn't heard much about hypnotherapy before, so it, it was quite new to me. So I came in with an open mind, really. There was nothing I was expecting. There's nothing I wasn't expecting. It was all new and exciting. Good. And that's the best way to be, to come in with an open mind and especially using words like exciting, just sets you up for the experience that you're going to have. So if you don't know about it, Karen is in the same position as you. He didn't know what to expect, but he came in with an open mind, which is key for transformation. So Karen, in your words, what happens during a hypnotherapy session? So for me, I think there's, there's two parts of the hypnotherapy session. You have the what some might say a normal therapy session where you have where you speak about the issue at hand you talk about itself and any underlying issues you have a chance to open your heart out almost um, the second part of the hypnotherapy is the hypnosis part of it um, I don't remember much of it so I think Anne-Marie might be better placed to <laughs> explain a little bit more about it but really it's just you put yourself into a state of relaxation mm. and then Anne-Marie will help you and coach you through the experience. Wonderful, wonderful. So, um, and that's fine that you don't remember because obviously I'm working with your subconscious. You're just there because you have to bring your body along with you. But <laughs> I'm actually talking to your subconscious, which is where all the work happens. So um, what is the most significant change in yourself that you have noticed? I think the most significant change is to do with the issue of why I came here. I think prior to seeking help from Anne-Marie, and even at the beginning of when we started, um, the issue at hand would affect me pretty much every day. When it happened, I wouldn't be able to stop thinking about it. And it would just put me into a really bad emotional state. Mm. Whereas mm. now it's a case of, if it does come up unexpectedly, then it lasts a few seconds, a few minutes, and then I can carry on with my day, which is unbelievably a lot better. Brilliant, brilliant. I'm so glad to hear that. Good. Um, what's the best part of hypnotherapy? Um, I don't know. I think, I think it's the ability to talk about your issues in a non-judgmental environment. Mm. I think the hypnosis element does play a part because for me especially it was something new. I didn't really know much about hypnotherapy at all. So it was interesting and exciting to see what this form of therapy could do that other therapy couldn't do. Mm. Yeah, that's very true. So you spoke about what you can do now that you couldn't do when you came. You spoke, spoke about, you know, when you're in that state of something's affecting you that you're constantly thinking about on a daily basis, even if you don't want your mind to travel there, it travels there without your permission and just leaves you feeling not in control of your happiness, yeah. which is the most important thing. And so um, I kind of answered my own question there because I was going to ask you what... <laughs> But you'd already said it, and um, I think it's really important for people to know that if you are in a situation where you feel, I just can't stop these thoughts, they become really intrusive, they almost take over, and they don't allow you to, um, they close down your mind because you're trying to fight those feelings, uh, and so that stops you from being able to be creative in um, other areas, because tell me, where did it affect you in other areas? Um, it affected me in all walks of life. I think if I was struggling with work, then I wasn't sleeping well, and then mm. during my dreams it would then come up. I think in my personal life it was it was blocking me from moving forward in terms of finding someone new and just being happy with myself. I didn't really know who I was at this point. Mm. I, I felt 
kind of almost bound by this th these thoughts and this this feeling of I can't go any further. Yeah. Defined by fun. your situation. Absolutely, yeah. Brilliant. Um, so, with that in... Uh, what did you not expect? Um, it's a reverse psychology question there. <laughs> what did you not expect? I don't know. Um, what did I not expect? Was it I didn't expect it to work so quickly. I didn't... Mm. I think... With a lot of therapy, I think it's dramatised on TV and you think it takes years of work. So I wasn't expecting to be in a lot better position I am now after such a short period of time. Yeah. Brilliant. And that is the most powerful thing that can happen for you because what stops people from seeking help is the thought that I'm going to have to drag this out for years. I'm going to have to be in pain. I'm going to have to relive it. And I, I, I'm, you know, it's the fear of the fear that stops people from going for help and the fact that you really were able to um, be brave enough to decide, I don't want to be have this pit pain anymore. I'd rather go through it and come out the other side and be without it. So that's really powerful. What have you learned about yourself during this hypnotherapy experience? I think there's a lot that I learned about myself. I think, as with any therapy, the issue that you come with is just the, the tip of the iceberg, so to speak. So having gone through these sessions, I've learned a lot more about myself. I've learned ways that I can improve myself and ways that I can stop worrying about certain things mm. because I think I always had a tendency to over worry and overthink. Mm. So I think that I've learned a lot about myself and who I am and where I want to go in the future and who I want to become basically. Brilliant. Fantastic. Um, you, you've just answered the next question. What questions for further development, which is brilliant. Fantastic. Um, so what would you say to anybody that's thinking about ha having hypnotherapy to move them out of the um, feelings that are holding them back, that are trapping them in themselves? What would you say about those people that are deciding to make this journey for themselves? I think I would definitely recommend it. I think whether this is your first step into therapy or whether you've had other forms of therapy before, I think whatever you've had and whatever your personal circumstance is, the hypnotherapy can work for you. Brilliant, brilliant. Is there anything else you'd like to add? No, I've, thank you, Anne-Marie, for your help. You're welcome. Thank you, Karen.